Okay, guys, we're still it's uh, 20, uh, 10 past uh, 8 now, still here, and this uh, we have somebody here from Elena from Deepak. Yeah. Tell him. Ellen from Deepak. Ellen from Deepak. Okay, sure. So, what's the uh, you want to do a shout out? Disabled people against cuts just wanted to say that we're here, we're supporting the protest against bombing Syria, and it's something that Deepak feels very strongly about. Thank you. That's it. I mean, like uh, with attacks on the uh, well, what was it that uh, each uh, storm shadow missile? Well, a bombing run one fighter jet would cost about a million pounds. Uh, if they add storm shadow missiles, it's about eight hundred thousand pounds each. So like, uh, it's already cost like uh, the attacks on Syria already cost about four billion dollars already, at least. I mean, they uh, it seems to be the case they uh, they prefer to uh, make war and rather than actually uh, help. People who actually are in, in need in this country as well. There is an issue that we're disabled people are starving to death because of the benefit cuts yep. in this country. Why the government wants to spend that amount of money killing people in other countries? Yeah, I mean, I do remember said that uh, they need to actually make out the 12 billion. But then suddenly Osman said, "Oh, we have we found 12 billion pounds to uh, to buy fighter jets." Yeah. So uh, the Tories are taking another 12 billion off welfare through this parliament, and that's going to be devastating for disabled people. The same MPs who uh, don't seem to care about the fact that disabled people are dying and killing themselves because of the benefit changes are pretending they care about children and people in Syria when we know that that isn't their real intent. Their real intent is to go in after um, an imperialist agenda. Yeah. I have uh, I have noticed for some reason the people who are uh, saying yeah. Uh, uh, they don't want refugees in this country, but at the same time they support bombing uh, Syria. Yeah. It's that they don't seem to realize, oh, okay, uh, after you created more, uh, kill people and created more refugees, where do they think they're going to be uh, going to? Probably the places where they're not bombing, like uh, France and the UK. Yeah, and Deepak's very aware that the government that has the go to benefit claim and any form of scapegoating. Yeah, thank you so much because uh, it seems to be the case I, I keep getting yes, oh, we have to ca take care of our um, homeless, uh, especially the uh, homeless veterans. One in ten is actually an ex regular army Absolutely. soldier. Uh, but for some reason, then we ask the question so, what did you do a few weeks ago uh, before the refugee crisis? They don't really answer that part. I mean, like, uh, we didn't uh, notice them in the uh, uh, during Christmas handing out sleeping bags or. Uh, uh, during the World Homeless Day, uh, you know, on that day, it's like they didn't, nothing. They just actually, uh, they tried to uh, just create a situation where they can excuse themselves from uh, helping anybody at all. I mean, some MPs do some quite tokenistic things where they might sleep out for one night to raise funding, but they're not doing anything to tackle the fundamental causes of poverty and inequality in society. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, that's uh, Ellen from uh, Deepak, and that's, uh, yeah, uh, just follow them, please. Disable people against cuts. And if you could share, this uh, video to the uh, to the group disabled people against cops that would be wonderful okay so uh, we're gonna be here for a while I'll stop this for a few minutes okay because I need to uh, not sure I'm seems to be a lot of people actually happening here at the moment okay I've uh, Okay, I've just changed, uh, uh, did the hashtag and uh, I, I signed it for uh, this uh, people protest. So if you could please, all of you, if you could just send it to uh, disabled people against cuts, that would be great. I'll be back in a few minutes, okay guys? Thank you. Peace out.